Uh, a lot of the technology that we currently have is, is around process improvement. So it's around the 10% stuff. So how do we do things 10% better? How do we find a way to reducing costs? How do we find a way to increase yield by a percentage? My view is it's not the 10% stuff, it's the 10 times. So how do we move from 10% to 10 times? Fundamentally for that, that requires us to rethink the way we do everything. And I'll give you an example uh, by, by an, analogous an analogous industry. Let's say for argument's sake, I said to you, you've got a car right now. And the car has to go from, uh, usually it goes 100 kilometers on 10 liters. And I say to you, no, no, it can't go 100 kilometers on 10 liters. It's got to go 10,000, right? Or 1,000 kilometers on those 10 liters. You have to fundamentally rethink the way you build that car. What we're currently doing right now is we're doing the process stuff. So we're changing the spark plugs and the filters and we're changing the, the composition of the fuel mix. But if we have to go 10 times, you may not even think that we need uh, a, a combustion engine. You may say, well, maybe we need to fundamentally rethink the components of the car itself. That's the same kind of thing I see around agriculture. We've got to move beyond 10% incremental into 10 times more. And for me, that's true innovation. It's not the process evolutionary stuff, it's the revolutionary stuff. I mean, in the presentation, uh, you, may, you may have seen the, the quote by Elvin Toffler, right? The illiterate of the 21st century are not those who cannot read or write, but those who cannot learn and learn and relearn. Mm -hmm. And I think the first premise is to, to recognize that the world is changing quickly. It's, it's actually it's changing quicker and quicker, right? Specifically in the area of agriculture, yes, we have the core components, if you will, if you want. We've got soil, we've got water, we've got sunlight, right? But can we unlearn certain things and look at technology as a different way, as a lever to do that? So I think the first is recognizing the world's changing. Secondly is believing that we can create a glorious uh, and, and, and wonderful future. The kind of thing that we, we can create is 10 times, not 10%. I think that's the first part. The second part is then saying, well, how do we learn? How do we know what's out there? Because we don't know what we don't know. So let's recognize first, and it's a paradigm shift that we don't know everything. Secondly, let's go learn that stuff. And thirdly, let's communicate, let's talk, let's build communities. Let's find a way to do things with everyone else versus against everyone else.